Let's do something fun with a solar panel. How about make a solar powered slip and slide? We'll start out with a good 12 volt DC pump. This is a small purge pump that should work great. Attach some hoses that will adapt it to fit to a garden hose. Then you can do all kinds of things with this setup. The pump is wired to an electrical cord. Since this is a low watt DC system, a standard electrical cord will work just fine. The solar panel is also wired to an electrical cord with a standard plug. So to connect the two plugs together, I just used a three-way extension cord, cut off the cord and insulated the end. Now I can connect two male ends together. Just gotta make sure I get the polarity right. The pump can be used as is, or you can remove the screen cap and add a hose to the barbed end. This allows you to add another pump in line if you'd like extra pressure or head. The screen cap is just snapped back together, and hey, you're ready to go. Let's do a quick dry test. A few seconds dry is okay, but don't let it run too long. And a wet test. And hey, it's looking good. So you can use this pump in all kinds of environments. I'm going to make a protective screen and float. This will allow the pump to stay near the surface of any body of water and keep debris out. The float is made from a one inch thick piece of foam. I use polyethylene plank foam, but other types of foam work just fine. The screen is just a basket from the dollar store. Then I connected the two together with zip ties. The string allows you to connect the floating pump to an anchor so it doesn't just float away. Good for a river or anytime you want to make sure it stays put. I cut a hole in the top just big enough for the pump to press fit in. Now the pump stays near the surface and is protected from seaweed, leaves or other large debris that could possibly clog the pump. Throw this in some water to test it out. Let's plug it in and... Hey, it works great. Look at that. All this with a 40 watt solar panel. Now let's get back to our slip and slide. We've got the plastic, the pump system, and a bucket of water and our power source. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why not just use your hose and water spigot, right? Well, we want to test this to see how it'll work when there isn't pressurized water, like the beach. So let's plug it in and see how it works. All right, water squirting out. Now we need some willing kids. There we go. We're ready for the beach. Our little cart conveniently hauls everything down to the beach, so let's get some kids to help set this thing up and before long we've got our floating pump out to sea. Our connectors are safe from the water and our power source has the water pumping just fine. Finally, we need some testers. All right, there we go. Now, this is not the perfect system. A little more water flow would have been a good thing and a little less sand too. But the kids had a great time and it certainly turned heads as people walked by. A fun little project. Hey, if you have any ideas of fun things to do with a small solar panel at a pump, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you.